What's up, my brothers? We have a requested video today from a young gentleman who's on a bit of a grind, uh, isn't having very much luck with the ladies, sounds like he's an incel, and he's asking me for a little bit of feedback on his situation. Uh, let's get right into this. He says, you're the man, video is really helping me become a better version of myself. He says, I'm a young man in my 20s, and I've been on my grind the last few months, okay? I'm a filmmaker and a photographer, and I've been doing projects this summer. I have gigs that I'm doing in my free time. I also have a job in customer service. Uh, although I'm not getting paid for film photo gigs, I'm at the starting blocks and building a career. I'm also picking up heavy stuff at the gym. Um, you're going to you're gonna run into a problem with this. This is, this is a dead-end job. When you get tied into long-term employment, with companies that, that, that keep you comfortable doing call center type of work. Um, do it for a bit, get frustrated with it, but do not ever, ever make it a long-term sort of uh, commitment for yourself. Uh, I've done this in my early 20s, there's nothing wrong with it. I only did it for about three to four months though, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and also, if you're working, you should not be working for free. Uh, if you're doing projects and doing gigs in your free time for people, whether it's photography or filmmaking, uh, charge for your time. Okay. Nobody should be working for, for free. You shouldn't, I shouldn't, nobody. So, um, I understand that you might be trying to build a portfolio, but make sure that they're see, because people don't value stuff when it's free. Honestly, if they're not paying their, I mean, with stuff like this, generally speaking, if they're not paying, they're not paying attention is what I always say, but, um, they're not going to value what it is that you're creating. It's unlikely that you're probably going to have, uh, people willing to refer because, free is free, right? Like it, like it has no value. It's just the way that it is. Anyway, says I used to be a beta male. It was bad. Um, sounds like you've made a little bit of progress, but let's find out where you're at. So in high school I was popular, but everyone saw me as a cool guy that anyone could talk to about their problems. So it was so bad that I was pretty much bullied by a group of my female friends. Okay. Sounds like you learned something there. It's funny now, but I've been working on myself. All of these girls have deleted me on social media, all of them. Ironic, right? Um, it's almost like seeing the guy that they used to pick on now show signs of improvement offends them. If you mean by signs of improvement specifically, um, cause you're saying and doing things that, you know, people, people often say, oh, Rich, you've changed. And it's like, yeah, of course I've changed. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I kept believing in doing the things that I did 20 years ago. Um, change is fine. Don't let these people criticize and judge you for that. And if they leave, they leave. It doesn't matter. Um, they're not part of your inner circle. They're not part of your tribe anyway. So let it happen. So good on you for ignoring that. Um, so the last few years has been rough. You were hospitalized, almost died to intestinal problems, picked myself up a couple months later, diagnosed with a chronic disease, recently was hit by a drunk driver, suffered a bad injury, picked myself up every time. And now I am here healthy and doing well. All right. Good for you. Although I notice improvements, I still have these problems, which will lead to his questions. Um, let me just scroll down here. I am still very sexually unsatisfied due to all these years healing and I've been celibate. So he's an incel. I get really bad obsessions with females. So he gets one itis. This girl is my neighbor. It's tough being around home. I keep running into her and her boyfriend. I don't know how to speak up for myself. Well, you obviously don't know how to charge for your time. So that's your, that's one of your first problems when it comes, comes to that. Um, it's just simple. Just ask them for the money to do the photography or, or film work. Um, you know, you have to, you have to start with, with something if you're going to stand up for yourself. Uh, I don't, I can tell you right now, one of the best things that you can do to improve, um, you know, your self-confidence and being able to stand up for yourself and, and speak for yourself. Cause when you're talking about speak for like being unable to speak or to stand up for yourself, that's a lack of, uh, confidence yourself. Um, join a dojo and learn how to kick somebody's ass and get your ass kicked. Um, great people go to those places. There are no wimps there. There's very few betas. And if they are, they are becoming alphas uh, or they get weeded out very quickly. Find something that you like some kind of striking sport or grappling or some kind of self-defense like Krav and just get into it and commit to it. The cardio conditioning is intense. The uh, skills are amazing. You will get a lot out of it. Trust me, you will not be a weak dude um, if you've been in a dojo for at least six, six to 12 months. 
Pro- promise me, promise you, go do it. I don't know how to get rid of trauma and beta condition I've dealt with with the past. I can tell you that's going to help you a lot, getting your ass kicked, getting your getting your body conditioned. I'm telling you, man, there's no conditioning that you'll get riding a bike, going to the gym, doing deadlifts um, as what you'll get the way that they push you at um, a dojo when they do the conditioning segment. Most of them do it, so make sure you look for one that basically runs you around and puts you through all of these trials. So it leads to his questions. Number one, he's got four of them here. Uh, should I even be chasing women in my 20s? No. <laughs> I can tell you right now, based on what you've told me. And uh, by the way, guys, when you do these um, requests, there's a section towards the end here on this page uh, over here where when you go to page two, it allows you to give me all your social links. Dude, you gave me nothing. I have no idea what you look like, what you're doing with your time and how that goes about for you. So it's difficult for me to give you a full assessment. So all I'm doing here is reading words. So in future guys, when you have that option, give it to me. I'll know who you are. If you want me to keep it confidential, which most of you guys do, you tell me don't show anybody. That's fine. You have my word. So just, you know, give me that info. It helps me a lot with my assessment here with your problems. So uh, should I be chasing women? No, I've already answered that. I know you say chase excellence, not women. To be honest, I'm depressed about not having sex or a relationship for a long time. It really gets to me. Dude, I get it, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You know, men are supposed to be doing that. If you're healthy and you got healthy levels of testosterone, you're attracted to beautiful women, got it, good. Okay, fine. So why aren't you getting results? Why aren't they reciprocating? Why aren't they showing genuine burning desire? Well, there's something there. I can tell by the way you're writing that you don't have a lot of confidence in yourself. I mean, you're willing to do work for free, which tells me that um, you're still relying on societal programming and beta, beta conditioning that does not serve you. You know, you should not be doing that. So start there, you know, charge for your time. Um, you know, if you're going to do any kind of work, make sure that they're compensating you for it. I don't like it when guys run around donating too much free time for um, stuff and they get nothing in return. And then they send me these messages like, oh, you know, I'm pining for my neighbor or, I, or I'm an incel and I don't know what to do. It's like, well, you can't even charge for your time. You got to start somewhere, right? Um, so that gets to you. Got it. Number two, uh, how to get over obsessive thoughts, basically falling in love with the idea of somebody such as my neighbor. All right, well, let's talk about one itis. We'll spend a few moments on that because that essentially, like the definition of it is an unhealthy attachment or an unhealthy relationship with one woman. That's all it is. And the easiest way to get over one itis is to have options, which means you're spinning plates. You're dating multiple women on a simultaneous basis and you're getting good results. I'm guessing you're not doing that because you're telling me that you're involuntarily celibate, which tells me you're not getting out there. You're not on dating apps. You're not approaching women, which tells me there's something that is earlier on than that, that, that is, that is leading up to this problem. I don't know what it is. I don't have the, the links that I've asked for, so I can only guess, but this is what I'm looking at here, right? Number three, uh, how do I start speaking up for myself when I don't end up in situations where I get bullied? Join a dojo and learn how to kick ass and get your ass kicked. I'll say it again. Basically, how do I stand my ground verbally? Well, martial arts. Yes, you've been watching my videos. Good. How do I stop being so damn insecure? This will help a lot. Charging for your time, having some confidence, and getting some good results with women. You'll have to get started, right? I mean, you'll have to start somewhere. You're going to have to start. You're going to have to begin. Um, there's a lot of guys on the Rule Zero panel, uh, specifically guys like Troy and uh, John that will often put out courses and things like that on using online game and pick up on all that sort of stuff. I don't do that. I don't like it's it's not difficult for me as I go about my day to, to hey, you know, you're 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 beautiful. Right. And you kind of like approach them and you just have a casual conversation. Um, I'm a little bit older. I've got a little more gray in my beard. I've got some experience. I've been shot down a million times. I'll be shot down a lot more. It's not a big deal, dude. Like it's just part of life. Um, you know, when you hear, when we get together for rule zero broadcasts and you hear, um, the decline rate that a lot of guys talk about, um, I think Myron was talking about it last time. He's like, you know, one in 10 times he gets a good result when he's cold approaching, um, probably a little bit higher on, uh, dating apps. And there's certain things that you can do to minimize that. But at the end of the day, man, like you're not even on the ice. So how are you going to score a goal? Right. Um, You've got to start somewhere. I understand that you feel like you've made some progress uh, based on the early parts over here, but it doesn't sound like you've made enough to really put a dent in your universe. It sounds like it's more of like a starting point. And I'm glad that you're getting some value out of the videos, 
but here I have a guy that isn't into combat sports. I, I hear that you're saying that you're lifting heavy stuff. I don't know what you look like because you didn't link anything, so I'm just guessing. But you're not into combat sports. You're working in customer service. You're working for people for free doing photography and film work where you should be charging for your time. You obsess over your neighbors, which is ridiculous. I mean, th this is like... I don't know. When did I do something like that? I was probably a teenager. I remember I had this cute neighbor when I was like 15, 16. She wasn't even that hot, but she was cute enough that, you know, when you saw her, you'd be like, ooh, you know, you kind of get the jitter sort of thing. But that's just, that's just pretty much normal. But you shouldn't be doing that into your 20s, right? Into your 20s, you should be running some game and starting to get some results. Um, starting, with, you know, starting with yourself. So you're asking earlier if, she, if you should be chasing women. You look... You can if you want to while you're doing everything else that I mentioned. But everything else that I mentioned <clears throat> becomes a priority for you. Lifting heavy shit, making some bank. I mean, you got to improve yourself. You can't be working in customer service forever. So you got to be leading out of that. If you're doing work, you're charging for your time. If you're doing photography work or anything like that, you know, you're charging for the time. You want to build some confidence? Get your ass kicked in a tojo, man. You know, you're going to get hurt. It's, it's, it's part of what you do, but it's part of toughening up you and your personality and your soul. Um, I'll give you some good reading resources, which I think all men should uh, read. I've probably mentioned this before, but pinned in the top comment of all my videos uh, about the three or four point, uh, third or fourth point down, I've got the link to my Amazon store. Um, there's some self-care products that I recommend in there, like inversion tables and stuff for guys with bad backs, but specifically, there's a link there for books. I've put every book in there that I think guys that want to improve their lives are going to get some value out of. They're not expensive. They're always less than 10 bucks on, on Kindle. Uh, my preference, I have an Audible account, so I'm driving around. I turn my car into into a, a university. I'm not listening to the news or crap music or anything like that. I'm often listening to an audio book. Uh, right now I'm listening to Graham, Graham Hancock, uh, Fingerprints of the Gods, which is a brilliant little book. Uh, watch his interview with Joe Rogan. But you get my point, dude. Um, you know, you get out there and you make other things your priority. You know, you've, you know, you've got a purpose in life. Um, let go of the um, victim mindset, which I think you've pretty much done. You've still got you know, like a little bit of um, work to do on yourself if you're not getting results. But that's really all that I can give you, bro. I wish I knew more about you. I wish I had some links to look at so I get an idea of what I'm dealing with. But that's your starting point. Um, what tips do you have for this guy, brothers? Leave a comment below and smash the like button if you've enjoyed watching this. Also, one of the, recommend one of the recommendations that I'd give you as well is um, card up on the top right of the screen. I'll link to my men's community. Um, it's a community of guys chasing excellence. You know, you can watch this video over here when you land on the page. Uh, it's just entrepreneursandcars.com community, as you can see up there below the image. Um, but there's a ton of perks and the community membership, of course, gives you access to the Facebook page, which of course gives you access to a lot of useful tools and resources and learning events and Q and A sessions, and they're all private. So, you know, you can check that out as an option if you're looking to level up. And if you guys want to request a video like this, this is how you do it. Card up in the top right. It's uh, entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash request, or just click that pop out banner there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.